Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. Today, Julie and I, and we are known as the Bitcoin Family, as a minimalist Bitcoin family, as we travel as minimalists all over the world in the last eight years, 42 countries. And uh, we took a small little holiday of two weeks in Javea, Spain, in a very Bitcoin minimalistic house. And we're going to show you around this beautiful minimalistic house together. Do you like the house? Yeah, super minimalistic. Super minimalistic. Enjoy the video. Bam. And of course, it won't be a normal, ah, check my big ass house villa. No, it will be a minimalistic joking video to show you the disadvantages of a too minimalistic big ass villa, Bitcoin villa. It all starts with opening a gate like this. You expect a big ass villa, you will see later, that the gate opens very quickly. Check this. One, two, three, four, five, waiting, six, I'm getting impatient, seven, the Bitcoin price is crashing, I don't know what to do, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, hundred, sixty, and then finally when the gate is open, you get to the next gate, and the next gate also takes a long time. Look, bam, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you like that? We need to wait every time this long? No. It's like terribly long. Super annoying. Na, 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 na. And then I'm going to close the gate. It also takes a shitload of time. There we go. Let me, let me see. On this button again. Also, you have two, two of these. Two of these. It takes too long. The gates are closed. Let's go to the next part of the house. It's also very boring to play table tennis or ping pong in your garage. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest attraction of the house is riding this little horse here. Every morning I go, We will get back to this one later. Then we get in, uh, to the part where our elevator <laughs> brings us to the living room or to the bedroom? Where do we start? Bedroom. We start on the bedroom? Yeah. You would have expected that answer of my daughter, of course. The elevator will take ages to go up. So I will take the elevator. Julie will keep filming. She will take the stairs into the bedroom and we'll see who will be there first. You need to wait till we open. Okay, you see? Yep. You can go and walk. So, yes, filming, I am in the elevator as the proof. We are going to the second floor. If there is an emergency, we can use this one. And I can call for emergency. Help, help! The elevator is stuck, something like that. And it's very, very, very minimalistic. Why do we have this house? I don't know how long it will take, but it will be like, it's now already like 23, 4, 5 seconds filming, and we're still not on the top floor. That is how big the house is. Unbelievable. Minimal. Oh. Man, I'm here right. <laughs> it took 30 seconds to get into the top floor. And now join me to this minimalistic bathroom. In a minimalistic bathroom, of course, there's two sides to a mirror. One side is over here, and the other side is over here. It's very important that you can look at yourself from both sides. You never know which side is the best side, is it? Mm -hmm. And when you want to go into bath, it's very important that if you go into bath, that all your neighbors can look at your penis or your vagina when you go into bath completely naked because it's completely windows all over the place. But the most beautiful part is behind you, Lee, because if I take a shit, while taking a shit, I still have sea view all over the place. Sea view. In the Netherlands, we call it they say, they save you. <laughs> sea view while taking a shit. And if you took a shit and you don't want to wipe your ass, you can directly walk into the shower to do that. 
because the shower also has sea view again. And again, the neighbor will see you standing naked. And if you don't want to make your hair wet, you only will use this one over here. It only comes out of the wall and not from the rain shower upstairs, up there, upstairs, up there, there, on the top somewhere. <laughs> so you have to figure out in a minimalistic way how to use all these buttons. I don't even know now because if I will turn one, haha, that's to wash your ass. It's a bidet. And then from that bathroom, we will go to the bedroom. That's where the magic happens. Of course, a minimalistic house has a lot of uh, closets. So ours are completely full with luggage. So um, a minimalistic family has a lot of clothes. That's my whole wardrobe with a special underwear drawer. Of course. And now we go to the most beautiful part, the sea view. And I know for sure that all the guys that are watching this video only have one thing in their mind. Comment down below what you have in mind. I know for sure there is only one thing. And that thing is the view while you're sleeping. I know also that all the guys are checking the windows now if there is any hands on the window. They're all checking if there are hands on the window. You dirty bastards. Women are like, oh, amazing. I can do my morning yoga and look at that beautiful sea view. And the men will be like, no, 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 no. I just want doggy style on the bed while I'm watching this beautiful sea view at night. And at night is really beautiful. Look, that's how it looks at night. And for all those guys that are dreaming of this view, here, wear your 3D glasses and now just pretend that you're moving. <laughs> that's how it looks. In the morning. And now let's check if Jess's room is clean. Probably not. And while walking to Jess's rooms, sea view, minimalistic shelves, sea view. She's still sleeping. But Jess's room is pretty cold. Hey, Teddy is here. Good morning, Teddy. Yes. Jessa also has sea view, even while doing her homework. She's studying. And you know, Julie just <laughs> fell over the blues. We're gone, Jessa. And if you come and visit us, this will be your room. So pretty. And you guessed it already. Sea view. You will have sea view. And if you take a shit over here, you don't have sea view. So let's go downstairs to the living room, the kitchen, and to the beautiful pool area. It doesn't get any more minimalistic than this, does it? And in a minimalistic family, it is exactly the same like every family, because there will be always toilet paper on the staircase, because I know for sure how men put them there, for someone to pick them up and to bring them up, but everyone still just passes by and just leaves them there. She will probably take care of it herself. Let's start in the kitchen. Oh, for the Dutch people, nuken in the kitchen. So, uh, we of course have minimalistic fake pineapples. Pineapple pen, pineapple pen, pineapples. <laughs> we don't drink alcohol anymore. We stop drinking. And um, what do I need to tell about the kitchen? This is the place where I never come. <laughs> this is your place. Wait, this is for the women. Sorry, men don't come here excuse that often. Me. Yes, excuse me. So, obviously, you can see that these all the weapons mom uses <laughs> for dad. She probably will use them after this video that I told her that she's the one in the kitchen. I think I'm, that's her favorite. Yeah. With the, with, with like, a, like, like, look, the point is not like straight, so it hurts a little bit more when it enters the body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you know that a real minimalist family lives here? Look at this fucking coffee machine, please. <laughs> that's really cheap ass. <laughs> Dolce <laughs> Gusto. Where is the normal coffee machine? It doesn't even work. It works. Okay. And of course, when the women are cooking or doing the dishes, I'm watching YouTube or Netflix, probably something of Seinfeld, The Nanny. <laughs> what is this? Who oh, I'm watching The Fireplace. Burning fireplace with cracking fire noise. <laughs> now I will really get stabbed. <laughs> By all the women. Sorry. It's minimalistic. 
even to start your barbecue takes ages because you need to use a remote control and it will take time take time take time take time take time but while you're waiting you can take a shit on this toilet <laughs> so even if you take a shit on this toilet you have sea view beautiful shitting sea view And yes, of course, a minimalist barbecue is not on gas, but it's just on old-fashioned wood. It did work. And sometimes, a minimalist life, you don't have too much food. You just enjoy the view while eating berries. Yes, just berries. Minimalistic berries. A lot of them. They are healthy. And then you sit and enjoy the view. For a minimum as that, I need to keep fit, stay fit, because I just said that all women work in the kitchen, so I need to be able to run really fast away from all those women with all those knives in this house, because we have four women, a gay dog, and they all want to attack this minimum as that, so I need to be fit. So I do rope jumping with a view, and when I get bored of this view, I will take my berries and walk to this part of the garden, either sit in this one, if it still holds me, to enjoy my minimalistic view, or I move on to this part of the garden, where I also still enjoy my minimalistic view, but shade is a little bit colder over here. And even though we have this amazing view, our kids still prefer a very other minimalistic room. Show them. It's the second living room. <laughs> My station. <laughs> they will spend sitting on that couch over there. Just sit there. I'm going to show them the truth of the Bitcoin family. And they will sit there playing games. I don't know which <laughs> game you're playing now. Fortnite. Fortnite. On that television. Ignoring all that beautiful view and just focus on that screen to play the PlayStation 4. We have you behind the television. Yeah, then you will lose. <laughs> Who is the best in Fortnite? Tuna. Tuna is the best. Tuna, and while they are playing PlayStation over there, I will be here in my Zen corner, sitting here on this very chill lounge without a pillow, like this, enjoying this fireplace that doesn't work minimalistic it doesn't work you haven't used it yet it's like <laughs> it's summer so but normally it would be a fireplace with batteries and working although i stopped drinking the other people still think i drink a lot so if we do celebrate a birthday we get these kinds of gifts okay so we only get drinks but we get a beautiful rum vat, rum, rum, I don't know, cask, emerald cask, I don't know what it is. Or we get the Demons Share rum, or we get a rosé, or we get mojito, <laughs> or we get moe et chardon, which of course fits the house, uh, or we get mon rosé, or we get food. We also get a candle. <sighs> I'm almost done with the tour, so if I want to go down now, I will take the elevator again, check how long it will take. Zzz, for the elevator to even arrive. I could have been like walking the staircase now like... Four times? Five times? Maybe six times? I will take you into the elevator now, so you can see how luxury, minimalistic the elevator is. Entrez, entrez. Entrez. Voulez-vous avec moi in the elevator? So. Don't worry. Look. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a very thin line. Don't do that anymore. I always do it to scare people. <laughs> and the doors are open. Oh, do you have a bedroom as well? Don't go in there. Why not? It's a mess. <laughs> then show Judah's bedroom. I think Judah's is a mess as well. Judah? Oh, she's... Um... Taking a shower, so that's perfect timing. She's taking a... Perfect timing. So Gina also has a bedroom. Also very full minimalistic wardrobe. And of course, sea view. Okay, show uh, the next favorite place. The jacuzzi. The jacuzzi? <gasps> and there she is again. <laughs> oh, Hello. hey, where did the dog come from? Well, she is doing yoga. This is the difference between my wife and me. She's doing... She's doing Pilates pass, oh, yoga, and I will be back. And then she will. <laughs> and let's go into the jacuzzi of sex. Do you see? Do you see the difference? Did, did, wait, did you see the difference? How I was like, like accepted into the room, like, and then the dog comes in and is like, come, Scotty, come, little doggy. He's not interrupting me. He was a, he was already here before me. I think he was taking his shit on the toilet. We have another toilet without sea view. The toilet without sea view is over here. Yeah, we were just getting a grand tour in the minimalistic house. And we minimalist people, especially minimalist Bitcoin people, we don't ride a bike outside. No, we ride a bike inside with sea view. Only inside, let's see if you, not outside, no good. Check my view, amazing. And if I ride this bike long enough, I will start sweating and then we'll go into the jacuzzi. Ah, oh, terrible life, that Bitcoin life, it's destroying us. Oh my God. Look, and after oh, the minimalistic home tour, we can of course enjoy a minimalistic jacuzzi. I think they want to see you in a jacuzzi now. No. man is doing yoga. Amazing jacuzzi. And yes, of course, when you're trading your muscles, you also need sea view. A minimalist family wants to have sea view all the time. Ah, yes, 15 kilos. Normally I just do five. <laughs> and for all those people that are still waiting for this minimalistic promise that I made you when Bitcoin went to a minimalistic price of 74K, here you go. You need to be quick. You need to follow me. Okay, one, two, three, let's go. The water is ice cold. I hope you really enjoyed this minimalistic house tour and of course I hope it really made you laugh as we don't have any intention to own our house. We just rent these kinds of houses. As a minimalist family, you don't own a house, you don't own a Lamborghini, you don't own any materialistic stuff, you just use all the materialistic stuff because you hodl a shitload of bitcoins and those bitcoins give you a shitload of returns every year again, you're able to rent all of these houses, all of those cars, and all of all of that luxury stuff, oh, except as the Bitcoin ring, of course, very simple. A minimalist family doesn't mean you want to be poor. A minimalist family can be filthy rich, but it means you don't own all that materialistic real estate and everything else. You just use it because you want to travel the world very lightly all over the place, whenever you want, however you want. And a minimalistic Sunday in a big ass house like this Looks like this. To having a party on Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Yeah. Think it's time to call it quits. The kids are
Share it with all your friends and family. <laughs>